Welcome to Ruby and the Muse. My name is Stephanie and I am an artist with a bachelor's degree in art and I have my minor in education. Today I'm going to tell you a story about my life as an artist. I hope you will all stick with me and we can experience the joy of creating together. As my channel is about the joy and trials of creating art. I feel as though I am a fool on life's journey down the road less traveled, um, heading towards the end of the line. Um, when I was five years old, I had my second heart surgery. I was born with a congenital heart defect, um, and this painting is about uh, my family and their prayers for me and my experience um, as a five-year-old going through heart surgery. When I was in seventh grade, I had a mini stroke. When I was in eighth grade, I had a full-blown stroke. In my junior year of college, I had another full-blown stroke. Um, and all of that is because of my heart. Um, and I kind of painted Alice in Wonderland because that's how I felt when I had those uh, strokes. I really felt um, <clears throat> disoriented, uh, out of place, you know, kind of like Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Where uh, everything is supposed to be, it's not. <laughs> this painting is of a skeleton underground. Um with the heart above it. The heart is kind of sucking the life out of everything. And when I painted this painting, that's exactly how I felt. Um, like my heart was sucking the life out of everything because everything I do, um, I have to consider my health. Um, the medicines I take, the food I eat, uh, the activities that I do, how much of this activity can I do, how much of that activity can I do, can I go to this place, you know, the, the medicines, all that, all that jazz, um, and I kind of felt like that's something that I shouldn't have to worry about, you know, like most people shouldn't have to worry about something like that. I know we all have our own trials and, and issues that we're going through in life, but, you know, some, sometimes it just, it sucks, you know, you wish you're, you were normal, but what's normal, you know? <clears throat> so this is, uh, another painting, um, that I did, uh, and it has a cross and a snake. Um, this painting was inspired by a story that I read about in the Bible, I don't remember the specifics of the story, uh, but anyways, it was when the Jews were crossing the desert, and um, they, they had done something, and uh, God had cursed them and sent down a bunch of snakes that they were being bitten and, and, and you know, killed. So God dis said, okay, I'll end your suffering. I need, you know, make a cross and put a, a snake over it, a golden snake over it, and, you know, he stopped. <laughs> he stopped their suffering. And that's kind of how I feel um, about uh, most of the experiences that I've been through. Kind of um, it, thanks to God's mercy, I'm still here. And thanks to, you know, God God being there for me, <laughs> you know, I'm still here, still going strong. Um, so, yeah, that's what that painting is about. Now we have this painting here. Uh, it's kind of like in a... In a apocalyptic painting um, and I guess the best way for me to be able to describe this is kind of like how I feel about life you know sometimes life is is like one gigantic apocalypse just things happen and you just you don't know you have to just keep going um, and as you can tell from this painting it has a lot going on I didn't put a lot of thought into the composition of it I just kind of started and, and you know waited to see where it would go and that's what happened <laughs> And this painting over here I did of, um, it is a painting, um, in remembrance of my grandpa, uh, when I was, I think in eighth grade, my grandpa had passed away, uh, and, um, he kind of inspired me as a child to really start learning how to draw and paint and, and color, and, um, my family, 
plays a very, very big part in uh, my uh, my life and, you know, some of the things that I paint and, and my life's experiences. Um, so this painting just kind of seemed to, to fall into place. Again, like I said, my family plays a really big role in, in the paintings that I do and, um, you know, my, my life experiences and I'm grateful for them and I miss you, Grandpa. <laughs> but at any rate, um, these are kind of, this is kind of like my story, uh, as an artist, well, one part of my story as an artist, I'm sure that um, there will be many, many more to tell you all about. You have to excuse the room. So, uh, anyways, I hope that you guys will stick with me and follow along. <laughs>